What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I want to give you guys some Terrence Crawford updates. A lot of people ask me about Terrence Crawford, but not enough. I think the guy is highly skilled, and he deserves a lot more praise and props than what he gets. And I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. A lot of people see this is the thing. Boxing fans are fickle. They complain about the guys like Adrian Broner, like he's a loud mouth. I don't like the dancing, the rapping but Broner entertains. Then you got a guy like Terrence Crawford who just does all his talking in the ring, very chill, very mild-mannered. I had the pleasure of meeting him, and he's one of those... I heard in the movies in Hollywood, Adam Sandler is just like he is on the movies. He's just real cool, down to earth. He doesn't dress like a millionaire, and he's just real cool to hang out with, the kind of guy you can drink a beer with. Now, that's what Terrence Crawford is. He's just real down to earth. He, you know what I mean, keeps his friends close, and you know what I mean, he almost acts shy. And people complain about the Broner types and say they hate AB, but they keep watching him. And then the guys like Terrence Crawford, who are highly skilled, they don't give them enough attention. So, People should really be watching for this kid. I think he's he's one of the truly special fighters that are coming up. Now, I did the segment, the rundown, and I told you guys to look out for Terrence Crawford versus Deary Jean. Looks like it is a done deal for October 24th, and this fight is going to take place in Omaha. So, it's a solid fight. A lot of people, see, this is the thing with boxing fans. A lot of people are going to run down certain fights when you hear certain fights, like, who's Deary Jean, or you don't know enough about the opponent, and you make your assessments. One, Deary Jean is not a pushover. Two, a lot of people that run down these fights and they say, oh, that's not a good fight, horrible match. They're not realistic. They'll be like, why didn't he fight Lucas Matisse? Not knowing that Lucas Matisse has a fight coming up with Victor Postal. And I explained this on the rundown. Terrence Crawford, second fight at 140. He stepped up in to the 140 division, beat Thomas Delorme via stoppage. That was in April. This is a solid test. Deary Jean lost to Lamont Peterson. It's his sole loss. Is he necessarily a world beater? Not necessarily, but he's a guy you can't overlook also. He's a guy that'll give you solid rounds, and you have to prepare for him, period. He's a guy with power and once defeated. I would favor, obviously, Terrence Crawford to win, but Deary Jean's not a pushover, especially if you don't train or you have a bad game plan, things like that. So that being said, another reason is this is the safe bet. Put him in there with a solid guy who'll give you rounds and, and an entertaining fight and see what Terrence Crawford can do. Plus, it opens the floodgates for a bigger fight. Pacquiao, once he's done with his saltwater bathing, he's coming back and they're talking about making a Crawford versus Pacquiao fight. Awesome. That's a good fight. Or even the Matisse versus Postal winner and they're fighting in October. So to me, as a fan, you got to be realistic and the big fights will come. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Bob Arum has a, a good plan for Terrence Crawford. And I think that plan is either Matisse, Postal winner, or Manny Pacquiao, right? So it really doesn't make sense to to put him in there with a, like a more known name, like a Ruslan Provotnikov, because Ruslan's coming off of a loss, right? Ruslan has several losses, to be honest. Deary Jean doesn't. Deary Jean has one loss. And Ruslan's the type of opponent, you don't really fight him unless you have to. Now, if Ruslan would have beat Matisse, then that would have been a different story, and they could have marketed that fight. But it's not really, there's no point for top rank to put their fighter in with a guy who just lost just because he's a bigger name and he's tough. He can take a punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Ruslan could be a tricky fight for anybody, but is not a top-ranked fighter. Ruslan's with Banner Boxing, so it doesn't make sense for top rank. If you're going to outsource and, and work with another promoter, why not work with Derry Jean, who probably want less money than a Ruslan Provotnikov, and then preserve your guy, most likely for a Pacquiao fight or a Matisse Postal winner, kind of like a stay-busy type of fight, right? And I think that's the ultimate game plan. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Terrence Crawford's already back at work. I had the pleasure of seeing him live. The boy gets busy. He moves like water. And he needs to be talked about more because a lot of people don't really give him the credit he deserves for how hard he works and what he brings to the table and what he's already proven. I mean, that one year where he fought Ricky Burns in Burns' backyard, he stopped Gamboa, who's an Olympic gold medalist and was undefeated. He beat Ray Beltran. That's the fight that I went to see, who's a longtime Pacquiao sparring partner. He did that all in one year, right? So I know ESPN didn't give him the ESPY, but... A lot of people need to pay their respects and just give credit where the credit's due. And a guy like Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, deserves it. Derry Jean is a solid test. Let me know what you guys think of the fight. October 24th in Omaha. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.